Hello and welcome to another SprueCam tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America. In this tutorial video, I will be going over the new chamfering operation. This operation allows you to easily machine chamfers that are modeled in, as well as sharp edges. Now I have two separate models for this video that I will be using. Uh, the first one will be faces that are already uh, modeled in. So what I've done is gone ahead here and roughed out this part and left us at a point where we are ready for the chamfers. All right. So to do this, we want to hit the drop down next to new and go to rest machining and choose chamfering. Now in job assignment, I'm going to delete this face because I had it selected there. All right. In job assignment, we want to choose the faces that we want to machine here. So in this case, we'll grab these two. We'll grab this. I'm holding shift as I click these. Now the holes could be done with a spot drill, but I will show them in this video as well. And we just want to choose add face. Now we're choosing face and not sharp edge because we're actually selecting the face that needs to be machined. Uh, if these were sharp edges, say like this, we would be choosing add sharp edge. All right, now let's double click chamfering. And let me pull this onto the old screen here. All right, and I wanna go to my tool library and I'm going to choose my drill mill. All right, and this is the tool that I will use for this operation. Uh, you would set your feeds and your uh, your feed rate and your spindle speed. And if you want to have any depth of cuts on this, I'm not going to, but you would set that right over here. Going to hit OK, and then simply just hit Reset and Run, and SprueCam will automatically do the calculations for you. So I can go into the simulation here. All right, go into play. All right, real easy to use uh, just, just by choosing the face and choosing your tool, uh, you get your chamfering done. Now, let's say we wanna use a model that has sharp edges. I'm going to load up, we'll save that. All right, so right here I have a model that has sharp edges, okay? Uh, I've already gone ahead, done a roughing water line to clear this out. So right now we are looking at this. So I'm going to go up to new and go to rest machining and chamfering. And in here now, instead of choosing the faces, we're going to select the edges. So you can either hold down control. I'm going to simply hover over this and double click and that'll grab all of these around it. And I'm going to say add sharp edge. Now I'm going to double click chamfering, go to tool, and in here I'm going to get to my library and choose the eighth inch drill mill, okay? Uh, and again, you would set your feeds and speeds, and if you wanted to do this in a couple passes, you could set it there, hit okay, and reset and run. Uh, now, one thing I did, I should mention, is if you go down into here for strategy, this is where you can set your chamfer depth, all right? So down here is where, right now I have it set to 0 0.02 by default, uh, but if you want to have it go deeper, you could, you know, change that. But this is essentially creating, uh, is, is where you set the size of the chamfer itself, okay? Uh, but I like the 0 0.02 because this is a smaller model. And once again, there you go. Now, it is going to flag it as a gouge uh, because it's not modeled. So if you wanted to turn that off, you can simply uh, go down into this parameters page right here and uncheck check for gouges and then reset and run it. And now, uh, let me reset the simulation here. 
we go in here and play it. Now it's got the unread chamfer on there. One other feature uh, that you can take advantage of is recognize. And what this will do is just recognize all of the sharp edges on the model. So you can see here now it grabbed these ones up on top. If I wanted to add a chamfer onto those, break the edge, you could simply do that. This has been another Sprucam tutorial brought to you by Sprucam America. Have a wonderful day.